Okay, big announcement. Huge mortgage announcement from the federal government. 30-year amortization instead of 25 for CMHC high-ratio mortgages. Big. No, no, not big. Not big at all. All right. <laughs> the government wants it to seem like it's big, but it's not big. Let me break it down for you. The announcement was that there will be, instead of 25 years, which it's been for, I don't know, 15, 19 years now, instead of 25-year amortization for high ratio, that's low down payment mortgages that are mortgage insured. In other words, there's a government-backed insurance on these low down payment mortgages uh, provided through CMHC, through two other mortgage insurers called Sajin and Canada Guarantee that they had to stick with 25-year amortization, and now they can have 30-year amortization, but, huge but, only on very specific situations. So let me tell you what it is. It's only for new construction, 30-year amortization for new construction, only new construction, not resale, and only for first-time home buyers. You, wait, wait a minute, you said it wasn't it always just for first-time home buyers? No, in actuality, you can buy a less than 20% down payment home as many times as you want. As long as you live in it, you have to own or occupy it, it's got to be less than a million dollar purchase price. That rule hasn't changed. And you've got to fit very strict ratios on debt to income. Very strict, like not a tiny bit of wiggle room. Very meticulous income verification. It's It's... It's solid. I mean, this is a, this program is extremely well under, underwritten. But in this case, we're going to narrow it down a little further. So it's got to be only new construction and only a first-time home buyer. As I said, previously, you could have been first-time home buyer, bought a place, decided to move up, sold it, do the less than 20% again. You could do that. You can't do it in this case. So super narrow, just new construction only, not any resale and only for first-time home buyers. So what does that really break down to? How many people are there like that who are going to take advantage of this 30-year program? Hardly any at all. Like, it's, it's so small. All right. First of all, when I started in the mortgage business decades ago, uh, I think about 45% of all purchase mortgages were CMHC. They were less than 20% down payment. That's, there was tons. Like was that was a that was big 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 part of the business. But because house prices in Canada have become that shit crazy over the last fifteen years, and because interest rates have spiked in the last two years from you know rates that were in the twos and the threes into the fives and the six. Oh, and wait a second, don't forget the stress test. In Canada, there's a stress test. So that if your rate is 5.25, you have to qualify for the mortgage based on 7.25, all right? Not easy, not even slightly easy. So the percentage of CMHC purchases of these low down payment, high ratio purchases in Canada has dropped now across the country to a little bit less than 18%. Oh, and by the way, in some regions like Ontario and British Columbia, it's dropped below 8% because those are where the most expensive houses are, the hardest to qualify for. So now let's break down this change. Not only is it only like 18% of the people, but 18% uh, that was before, it's only going to be for strictly first-time home buyers. That cuts it back. And it's going to be only for new construction. That cuts it back a ton because the majority of that 18% of purchases was, was resale. It wasn't new construction. So who is this going to impact on? What are the situational impacts of this change to 30-year amortization? 2%? 2%. So it's effectively a complete nothing burger. It's a nothing burger. This was a campaign announcement. Yes. Is it good to support new construction? Yes. Is it good to support first-time home bar buyers buying new construction? Yes, it's good. But there's so few of them. Okay, so few. This is just campaign rhetoric. When, some, when an announcement just applies to a tiny group of people, but it, but you know, you have to study it to really understand that. It sounds good. You can the government can run around saying we're supporting new home builds 
and we're supporting new home buyers. And it's true. It's just that there's so few, so few. So this effectively in British Columbia and Ontario only impacts on condominium purchasers and strata purchasers and uh, perhaps townhomes. Uh, there's no single family home that is under a million dollars, hardly any defined, good luck, just very, very few. And again, with high, high interest rates, I, I know they're not historically high, but they're still all very high for super duper expensive properties, batshit crazy house prices in Canada. So these high interest rates push most of the people with less than 20% down payment right out of the picture. So folks, is this a big deal? No. Is it a little bit of help to a small group of people? Yes. Is it going to drive the house of price, price of homes up? Absolutely not. When you're only talking about 2% of people, it's meaningless. So overall, not bad, but not meaningful. This is a campaign stunt. Make no mistake about it.